Hello and welcome to the Answer. Well, this is the Answer Yes podcast, but this is the Live Life Driven version for the week. And, um, you know, I'm happy to be doing these because I feel like we're adding some value, especially during uh, this COVID crisis and everybody's, you know, going through something wherever they're at. Some it's easier than others. Uh, I feel sorry for the people in the big cities, uh, New York and Chicago and downtown L.A., uh, but we're all in this together, and we're here to help. And today, what I wanted to talk about is uh, just kind of giving back during the storm and uh, what people are doing. And um, I've got somebody wonderful on the phone right now that I want to introduce. And th- I've got Lori. Lori, I like your uh, tagline. It says, Goddess of Stuff. So I've got Lori on the line, Goddess of <laughs> Stuff. How are you doing? I'm great, Jim. How are you? I'm good. Um, You know, we were connected through David Meltzer on a a great conference call with uh, people that he's working with, and uh, we were all talking about the things that we're involved with, and uh, we reached out to one another after the call, and you're doing a wonderful project right now. Um, Can you tell us about that? Absolutely. Uh, Thank you so much. And and because of David, uh, it's how this whole project got started, when David says, Every day he asked, how can I be of service? Mm -hmm. And during this pandemic and when all this was happening, instead of sitting here and being upset and crazy and complaining, it's like, how can I be part of the solution? What can I do to thank all of these people who are out there, you know, putting their lives on the line? You know, we keep saying, no one, nobody signed up for this, you know? And, And I go into the grocery store and I see the look in everybody's eyes. These people are working their tails off. They are happy to have jobs, but it's this is a really stressful time for everybody. Mm-hmm. So my design partner and I got together, and we wanted to figure out a way to thank all the heroes. So basically what we did, a very simple lapel pin, since I am the goddess of stuff, that's what I do. I, um, I get a lot of stuff out into the world, but I wanted stuff that was going to make a difference. So we designed a lapel pin. It's a one-inch round lapel pin. There, and the, my goal initially was just to buy a thousand of them and give them away. Mm-hmm. There wasn't even a, a project in mind. It was just, let's get them out there. And so it's become this project, as you say now. So basically, we are printing pins, we're selling pins, and we're giving a dollar of every pin we sell to the World Central Kitchen. Mm. Okay. So our goal, and so what happens is when you see people in the world with this hero lapel pin, And I can send, I think I've sent you a picture, which I'm happy to, people can get on my website at early next week. We'll launch this whole thing. Yeah, good. Um, They can see them. They can see them. And so then it's hero-pin.com. But then what happens is if you see someone in the world and you are in New York City, you know someone deemed that person a hero. Mm -hmm. And so you can say thank you to that person. You don't know why, but you just know someone thinks that they're a hero. And so I, my vision, Jim, is to see hero pins all over the United States because there's so many heroes that we don't even know about. And um, so that's my goal is to sell a million pins is to get them out into the world and um, thank all these heroes who put their lives on the line, whether they're delivering Amazon gifts or they're, um, you know, they're at in and out Like I, I drive by in and out The line there is longer than it normally is. And it's just packed. And those guys in there have to be working their tails off. Yeah. And they're heroes in my mind, you know? So it's the nurses too, the nurses, the doctors on the front line. I mean, they're amazing, but it's everybody else, right? The, the the group of heroes is huge. Yeah, no, and, and by the way, I, the, the pin itself is beautiful. You know, I remember back in the day um, when people started wearing the yellow ribbons and the pink ribbons, and then there was a ribbon for a little bit of everything, and it was a great way to signify, you know, uh, that particular effort. So I love what you're doing, especially with the philosophy of, um, you know, really promoting these heroes that are working right now because – you know, they're unsung heroes doing everyday jobs, you know, whether, like you said, you know, even the people at in and out are providing a service, you know, because that could be that one hour of relief that people are getting when they leave their home to go have a meal in their car, you know, because they can't do anything else. And then they go back home. It's like, wow, thank goodness we were able to get out for an hour to have a, you know, an in and out hamburger. So um, tell us about World uh, Central Kitchen. What, you know, what are they doing? What does that mean to us? Because I, I'm sure it's important. Well, so World Central Kitchen, I don't know if you remember, it's Jose Andres. And when everything, when everything happened in Puerto Rico and um, uh, they had all their, the 
the, the natural disasters there. He's a chef from Spain, and he basically has put this World Central Kitchen together to help, you know, people all over the world to, mm -hmm. to do food. So he's been for the last seven weeks in New York City, and he's been doing meals all over the place. And so he does them all over the world. And so he's in L.A. He's so, like he's done over a million meals served in California. He's done a million and a half in New York City. And he's supporting local chefs all over. So he put this together. And I was just reaching out. Who can who's going who can we talk to? And I and I and they run very lean and they're they're out there every day on the front line. You know, 4.5 million fresh meals in 200 cities across mm -hmm. 30 states and Spain and Puerto Rico. So uh, we connected. I reached out to them. They said, thank you very much for thinking of us. And that's how it started. It was it was really quite simple. And um, if you go to their website, WCK.org, and I have it on my website, too, you can see what they're doing. I mean, they are absolutely amazing. Um, and they're on the front line every day. So. Um, that that's who I wanted to support. And I think it's a great um, organization. I love it. On the letter you sent me, there's a quote on here. It says, a hero, <laughs> a hero is someone who has given his or her life to something bigger than oneself from uh, Joseph Campbell. And I just, what a great way to open up uh, your letter here and what you're doing. Okay. So the details are you're launching this next week. Is that what you said? Monday? Yep. Monday. Okay. Monday. Yes. Monday. And the website is? hero-pin.com. Okay. And then you have, it looks like you and have you an can, Instagram or, at, at the hero pin, right? Yes. Instagram and Facebook at the hero pin, both. And those will be launching Monday. And if you want to email us any questions or if any, you know, company wants to do some large orders and give them to all their employees, uh, it's info at hero-pin.com. Okay. And, uh, or, you know, and we, cause we want to, um, you know, we're here, we're everybody, you know, whoever people, someone like, like you said, anyone who's listening, they've got heroes they are thinking about, reach out to us and we're here to help. So I, we want to, we really want to spread the word with people like you helping me. I'm so grateful. Thank you. Yeah. I love it. So I'm going to go ahead and put your link out, link in the description of this show. So people can go to that. I love what you're doing. I can't wait to order some pins for myself that I can hand out. <laughs> And, uh, gosh, I really awesome. appreciate you uh, sharing this on the show today because, um, you know, it's just a wonderful opportunity to recognize people, and I'm, I'm so grateful that you're doing that. Thanks, Jim. I appreciate your support. And, um, in fact, I think I sent you a picture. I have my first hero today. I took a picture of my guy at my building. I live downtown Los Angeles. He's a security guard, and he was, he, like, there he was, and he's my hero, and I so he's my first photo. We're going to put him up on the website. So I'm oh, really excited. I love it. I'll look for that. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank Lori. you. Appreciate it. All right. Have a great day. You too. Thanks so much. Well, that was awesome to have Lori call in and what she's doing. Hey, by the way, if you're doing something significant, I would love to hear about it. We'll try to promote it on the show. So if you want to send me an email, uh, go to my website, livelifedriven.com. My email address is on there and uh, send me something. We'll get it posted up. You know, my own business, Baja United Wines, which is uh, BajaUnitedWines.com, actually, we support the orphanages in Baja. And uh, through all of our wine sales, we're able to give back to the orphanages down there and all the wonderful work that they're doing um, to support the kids. And, you know, this is a struggle for people around the world. And so this one's a close, uh, close to my heart and what we do. And, you know, they're having a tough time because typically what happens is our conduit is a uh, nonprofit called Corazon de Vida, and they're in Irvine, California. And they typically will bring uh, donors down across the border, and, and they'll visit the, the orphanages and learn more about what the needs are. And because of the COVID crisis and the shutdown of the borders, they're not able to go down anymore. Now, fortunately, through the, the funds that Corazon has raised this year so far, um, some of that has been due to our efforts through wine sales, they're actually okay in terms of funding the orphanages, their needs right now. But eventually that's going to run out the longer we're in isolation here. So, um, you know, we're trying to do our part. So, uh, hey, look, if you want to buy some Baja wines from the Appalachian down there from the Valle de Guadalupe, hit up BajaUnitedWines.com and know that a portion of that's going to go to the orphanages. Um, you know, throughout my week, we talk about things that I've learned. You know, there's been other companies that have ran across that are supporting uh, these COVID efforts, and I'm sure that you are encountering the same. Uh, matter of fact, there's a tequila that I fell in love with recently called Tavi Tequila, and what they have done the last month is you can nominate a care worker, you know, somebody that works in the hospital 
whether that's a nurse or a doctor, whatever the position is in the hospital, you can nominate a care worker through their Instagram page, and uh, they're sending free gifts to your nominee on your behalf. So uh, you might want to check out Tavi Tequila on their Instagram site and uh, see if that is still running. I know I had a few nominations myself. So Tavi Tequila, thanks, great job. Uh, I personally bought a, a new bow and arrow this week from Bowtech, which is a very popular um, bow and arrow company, and they gave $100 off just to consumers that uh, were buying their product right now. And I thought that was that was pretty neat. It's something I wanted, and they're a small company, and I was happy to purchase something, but they also gave me a discount. And it made me think that um, not only are they extending discounts because of COVID, but at the same time, I also realized that everybody is scratching for a little bit of business, and I'm sure that that's an attractive way to get more business by offering discounts. So, you know, it goes both ways, giving discounts, but also maintaining business and supporting local. Um, and then finally, I had a new internet provider yesterday, a Bullet, up here in, well, I'm in Kalispell, Montana. And uh, they are also offering a COVID discount. And I just thought that was wonderful, too. It's uh, probably a temporary thing, but these guys came out, the owner came out and actually helped set up the internet in my house. And uh, it's just neat to see how we all come together. So I would love to hear uh, through your emails or your messages, you know, what you've seen out there or if there's some givebacks that you want me to promote on the show, I'll start making a list and we'll push it out on all of our shows. So remember, support small businesses, get out there when you can. Um, you know, order food in the drive through or order stuff online from small companies that really need the support right now. And uh, let's all keep an eye out for what Lori's doing with her amazing pin. So that's going to be the wrap for Live Life Driven. It's a Friday. Hopefully you'll enjoy your weekend doing something. I know I'm going to try to get outside and enjoy some fresh air. So thanks for tuning in. I've got some great shows coming up next week. Could be like